what does smoking do to your body? Take a look. Every time you inhale that cigarette, do think that, hey, I'm breathing in carcinogens. I'm breathing in toxins. But the nicotine in those cigarettes, what it does is it causes your heart rate to increase, it causes an increase in respiration, increases your blood pressure. What the nicotine does in your brain, it, you see those nerve cells, it increases the release of dopamine. That's a pleasure center in your brain. Mm -hmm. That's why when those cells get flooded with dopamine after taking that drag on the cigarette, you have that feel good relaxation. But the problem is when you don't have it anymore, you become nervous, you become irritable, and a smoker figures out exactly how much nicotine they need to keep those pleasure Maintain centers that. filled, and that's why you end up smoking a pack and a half a day. Because right, it's a withdrawal, because it's an addiction. And I want everyone to see what a healthy lung looks like versus a diseased lung, because again, you can talk abstractly all you want about smoking, and it doesn't really do a whole lot, right? Until you start talking about the nitty gritty, when, until you start talking about what I see in the ER, okay? This is a healthy set of lungs. Nice color, nice size. This is someone who smoked their whole life. Just compare the colors. But what's happening inside this lung, and this is a cross section, this is early, what we call early emphysema. It's pretty obvious to the naked eye that, that this is disease compared to this, right? When this patient comes to the ER, I'm gonna show you how they're breathing. <sighs> Needing oxygen, and I'm telling you right now, you smoke your whole life. I can tell the minute someone walks into the ER if they spent their life smoking. And what people don't tell you when you start smoking in your teens and your 20s is they don't tell you what it's gonna be like when you reach 40 or 50 or 60, and every breath you take is a struggle. Because like those they're... lungs are less flexible, less pliable, that's why they can't. They, and they can't exchange oxygen right. as well. Mm -hmm. The beautiful thing, we're gonna talk about this coming up, is if this is the way you were born, and you're starting to move into this direction from spending a life of smoking, you can go back to this. And these come from Bodies the Exhibition.